Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to go through a spring H&M order, spring summer H&M that I've ordered that I've done. Um, and I've tried it on already, so as per the usual format, on this side of the screen here will be my try-ons. So you can see what it looks like as I talk through the products. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you have watched before, but you haven't subscribed or liked or commented or anything, please feel free to do so. I love chatting with you guys in the comments down below. So um, send me a comment if you have any questions and let's get into it. So first of all is this linen maxi skirt from, well, it's all from H&M. And it is gorgeous. I love it. Um, the reason I love it so much is it's a maxi skirt that goes below my ankles, but also it has like some floatingness to it. So it doesn't feel like you're walking like, I guess like a penguin. The only thing I would caveat is that it is see-through and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it is see-through. Now, the only time I think you can get away with this is if you've got something oversized that you're putting on top of it or you're like wearing it on holiday or something. But that being said, for the fit, I love it. It's just annoying that it's not got that like extra bit of lining, but it's so cheap anyway that it kind of makes up for it in a way. I don't know, but I definitely think I would get a little wear out of this on holiday. I think it fits really nicely, so I'm gonna keep this one. The next was this satin skirt. Now I've been on the hunt for the perfect satin skirt. It was not real satin though, is it? And I ironed this less than 15, 20 minutes ago and it's already creased. So I think that just goes to tell you that I'm not keeping it. The fit was nice, um, but I do think I'm gonna need to invest in a more expensive one to get what I want from this. But I think if you're looking for an affordable satin skirt that's a good fit, this is really nice. It's a nice length. It doesn't feel like you're walking like a penguin again. I think it's now the next two items I didn't actually try on because I saw them and didn't love them. The first are these like tan kind of shorts. I just feel like with my skin tone, it just wouldn't have really worked. I think I would need like a really good tan, which I don't think I'm gonna get this year because I'm not going on a summer holiday. So I didn't really love these. And I've also got some similar pairs of shorts in different colors from last year. Um, I just thought they would be a bit different from what I saw online, but these are them. And they have lots of different colors and styles if you want ones like this. So I definitely check them out um, and I'll link some alternatives down below for you. Now, the next pair I did not try on again because when these arrived, I had such high hopes in them. I'll put the model image here because I think the model image looks so, so good. But I just feel like compared to my Abercrombie's, I think they're called the Sloan short, high-waisted shorts, the quality and everything is just not there and I just don't think I'm gonna reach for them. So I immediately knew that they weren't for me, so I didn't try them on. Now, next up, I tried on it's a black linen shirt that comes with some matching shorts, um, which is great. Now I got this in a medium thinking it'd be quite oversized, but I could have gone a large if you want it to be oversized. I'm just thinking on holiday when you want to throw something over. Um, and then these are the shorts that match with it. And I think it makes like a really cute two piece as you would have seen here. So I do think this is really nice. You have to remember the HM, the quality isn't, incredible but i do think for like cute matching sets like this and i feel like this is timeless that like you'd get wear out of it years up year after year so i think this is like a really good set um i know i will get loads of wear out of it so i'm definitely keeping it and i always wear similar things each year um and it's like part of my core colors in my wardrobe i know black isn't really a summer color but you know me um so i do love that part of it um, for reference, by the way, I'm 5'6", so I'm not super tall, I'm at average height, basically. Um, so, yeah, I just don't like it when things are like above my ankles, I just think it makes my ankles look really weird. Um, so that's that piece. Then, the next piece is the cutest little summer top that did ever exist. Um, really like the material on this one, actually. Um, it has really nice tie-up detailing here as well. Um, I got in this a small, but I actually felt like it was too big. Um, I felt like I could have gone extra small because I just felt like, yeah, it just fit really loosely. But then maybe that's meant to be the style. I think it's really cute. I think you're a summer, 
with some jeans, with some shorts, with even like a skirt. I think it's really, really cute. Whether it's me, I'm not sure. Again, I think it might be like a bit too frilly. Um, I'll show you what I mean by the next dress. Um, because I feel like I'm very like structured and less floatiness and shapes in a way than I used to be. Um, I feel like I used to go very like pretty girl outfits and like pretty arms, what does that even mean? Um, you know what I mean, like floaty, minimal style but floaty and now I definitely lean towards more like structured looks so I don't know if this is for me but I want to think about it because it's cute and also it didn't fit 100% and I think it might be out of stock in the extra small now. I wanted these to try and I actually just don't love the colour scheme. I think they look nicer on the website. They're like this like grey and black and to be honest I already have way too many sandals as it is. I actually think they are quite cute and they would pair so well with like that black set for example um and everything but I actually ordered so many ha sandals from H&M last year that I don't really need any more so I'm actually not going to keep these but they had these in loads of different colours um I can pop some versions up here so you can see um so they are like a great I feel like they're like an Hermes dupe without being an Hermes dupe or no maybe Bottega dupe but either way great great sandals if you need them I feel like you can never go wrong with H&M sandals for holidays um they just do what they do and you know what they may not last forever but, which i normally am for but i think it's really hard to get your hands on really expensive sandals like the hermes ones anyway so these are a good alternative finally i'm gonna go through this dress with you so it's like this like linen style dress and it's got this um blouse style collar and then underneath it's got this slip dress this satin slip not satin slip dress just the slip dress underneath now, in theory, I thought this would look really cute on me because it's like shirt style. And I actually, as you can see in the video here, I belted it so it like came together quite nicely and made it a little bit more put together. And then you can pair it with heels or sandals or anything. But as I was just talking about with that top just now, I actually feel like this isn't that me anymore. Like this time last year, I would have said that was like more me. But I actually don't think it is. And I don't know why. I feel like this year I'm just trying on like more floaty styles and realizing they're not for me. But I am pondering it because this used to be my style. So I feel like wearing this at some point in the summer, but I'm not 100% sure. I do think it's a really, really cute dress though. So if you've been looking for something like this, I think it's fantastic. The fact that it comes with a slip dress, it feels really nice. I feel like when you belt it and everything, it makes it feel super complete and lovely. So I would 100% recommend if this is the kind of thing you're looking for. Um, and also let me know what you think in the comments down below because you might think it looks way nicer on me than it than, than maybe I think, but I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. Another super quick video. Let me know if you like this style of video in the comments down below because I did it last week with my mango one and I'm trying to maximize my time a little bit more and you know, talk you through the items in a little bit more detail um, than I would have done on like my shorts and stuff. I think this allows me to really give my honest opinion on what I bought and if I regret buying it and if I should return it because I think sometimes you can easily just like buy, 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 buy and then actually like not realise what you've bought and if you're actually going to wear it. I have this rule where if I haven't bought it, if I haven't worn it within the first week of wearing it, am I realistically going to wear it again? I don't know. Most of the time it's been a no. Um, controversial, I know. So that's like my rule of thumb and I don't think apart from the white skirt in this haul I can see myself wearing anything for the next week um, or two so that's my overall opinion on everything hopefully the next H&M haul will be way more successful than this one um, normally they are pretty successful so we'll see um, thank you so much for watching guys um, and please don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one bye